Hello, everybody. Welcome to the literal last lesson we have before this test coming up on Tuesday. Um, we have, as a reminder, reviewed circumference and area of a circle. We have learned about arc length and sector area of a circle, right? And then we have converted from degrees to radians so that we can get um, basically so we can have answers in terms of pi, we can have answers in degrees, we can, um, we can kind of interchange between radians and degrees. And so what we're about to do now is we're going to have questions about finding arc length, questions about finding sector area, uh, some of which are straightforward, some of which involve radians. And some of which kind of go backwards. So like they'll give you the area and make you find the radius or they'll give you the arc length, but make you find the degree measure. Um, so, but the fun part is we're finally not going to be leaving our answers in terms of pi. We're finally going to be rounding. And I don't think it says it in these examples what exactly to round to, but we are going to round our answers to two decimal places um, because on class kick, that's what the practices all end up being rounded to is two decimal places. So we are going to do that um, as well. So we're going to get decimal answers. We will use not 3.14. We will use the pi button in our calculator. And if your calculator does not have a pi button, you're going to want to use the trig calculator, the FSA calculator on uh, class kick. Um, sorry, not class kick on class link to use the pi button because we don't want to just use 3.14. It's not going to be exact enough. Um, you want to use the actual whole number for pi. So if there's a pi button on a calculator, you're going to use that. Any questions finding your pi button, just let me know. Uh, and we can go over it when I see you. So we're looking at page 12b. Um, you guys are going to do the rest of page 12b and all the questions on page 13 for practice for me today. Uh, we're going to start with number four on page 12b to go over together. This says that an arc sits with a 190 degree arc measure. It has an arc length of 40 pi centimeters. We want to know what is the radius of the circle on which the arc sits. So again, just so you were aware of what's going on, here is our circle. This is 190 degrees right here. Um, and this arc length that they just gave us is 40 pi, 40 pi centimeters, but 40 pi. Um, they want to know what R is, right? So that's what we're going to do. So you have to remind yourself, okay, well, they gave us arc length. So we know that arc length, right, equals part of the entire circumference of the circle, right? And circumference, technically, you could do better than that. Circumference is 2 pi r, and that's where r is, which we want to find. So they gave us arc length, and they gave us degrees. We just need to find r. So we're going to go ahead and plug everything in. They said the arc length was 40 pi. Boom. Uh, they said the degree was 190, and that's going to be multiplied by 2 pi r. All right. So what are we going to do about that? So we need to get R all by itself. Before we do that, though, let's simplify some things. We know that 40 pi stays on the left. On the right-hand side, we have 190 times 2. That is 380 out of 360 pi R, right? That's what's going on here when you multiply all those things together. Just 190 times 2, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, you can also take 380 out of 360, and you can simplify. This would be 38 out of 36, right? Um, and, and 38 out of 36, you could take a 2 out of those. That's going to be 19 out of 18. I think that's the best we can do. So really, we have 40 pi equals 19 pi r over 18. You didn't really need to simplify it, but I, I, I like to simplify these so you don't have too much going on, right? 
Um, and now we're going to go ahead and solve for R, which means we're going to get all by itself. Um, there are ways. I mean, the easiest way probably is just to cross multiply and go. So uh, 40 pi, of course, is 40 pi over one. You can just cross multiply and, and just solve for R. Um, so 40 times 18 is 720 pi over here. On the other side is just 19 pi R, right? We want R all by itself. So we are gonna divide everything off that is not R. That means we're gonna get rid of 19 pi and we're gonna get rid of 19 pi. We're gonna divide that up so the 19s go away, the pi's go away. We're left with R equals what? Well, the pi's kind of cancel each other out, that's nice. So we're left with 720 over 19. That is 37.89. If we're rounding to two decimal places to the nearest hundredth, 37.89 is R. And you can check real quick, right? Because if you do 190 out of 360 times two pi times 37.89, right? You can do that real quick. 190 times two times pi times 37.89 divided by 360 gets you 125.64, which divided by pi is 39 point, is 40, yeah. So we're good. So that is correct. That is the answer. We're good to go. Um, so this is just, again, we are not gonna keep things in terms of pi. We are actually gonna get decimal answers at the end there, not these ridiculous fractions were wholly reduced. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna actually get them there. Um, now, you'll notice that I actually waited. I didn't use pi till the very end and I crossed it out, right? So you're gonna wait to the very end. If there's a pi in your answer, that's when you use the pi button. Don't do it all the way at the beginning because if I just say two pi r, 190 two pi r, uh, that'll be 190 times two times pi um, would have been 1193.81 uh, over 360. Um, if we divided 40 pi by that, we could have, well, we've still gotten 37.89 actually. Um, well, let me see, 40 pi divided by 3.3. Um, it, it, it depends. You should wait to the very last step before actually rounding anything uh, because, yeah, that, that's, that's all. Uh, but that's, that's what we're going with with this. So that's the first one. We're going to look at some more now. Uh, the next one we're going to check out is number five on page 12B. Uh, we have an arc length of 123.53 millimeters. We have a radius of 28 millimeters. We want to know what is the angle of the sector in radians, all right? So again, what we have going on here, we have an arc with an arc length of 123.53. We have a radius of 28, right? Um, and this is also 28 then. We don't know what the angle is. And we usually use this symbol theta to represent a missing angle. So we don't know what the angle is. We want to know in radians what that is. Um, and so this combines our knowledge of arc lengths. Because arc has a length. So arc lengths, and it combines the degree radian conversion. So we're going to check out that. So we start with arc length. We know that arc length equals part of the whole times your circumference, which is two pi r, right? That's what we have going on here. And they gave us a few things. They gave us the arc length of 123.53, right? They did not give us degree, but they did give us r, which is 28. So we can use that to find the circumference, which is 28 times two is 56 pi, all right? That's what we have going on here. Um, so what we actually end up having on that side, I'll just rewrite this a little bit. That is 56 pi degrees, because I'll get, I guess, multiplied 
over 360, right? That's what we have going on here. Uh, so in this case, I guess you can still cross multiply. It's not really 100% necessary to put a fraction over here, uh, but you can still cross multiply. You get 123.53 uh, times 360. That gets you 44470.8 equals 56 pi degrees. You want degrees, so you're going to divide everything else off that's not there. That's 56 pi, and you're going to actually get to plug that in to your calculator. So you have 44470.8 divided by 56 um, times pi. That gets you 252.78 as your degree measure. All right, but that's not the answer. Your answer, they said, wants to be in radians. We found the answer in degrees. So what is a person to do? You're gonna have to convert from degrees to radians in order to get what you want. Um, so we're gonna take this, right? You're gonna take your degrees and you multiply by pi over 180. So we're gonna do 252.78 times pi divided by 180. That's going to get you 252.78 times pi divided by 180. That's going to get you 4.41 radians. And that's your answer. So again, this one was just doing what we just did. We're using an arc length formula. We're kind of working backwards a little bit. They gave you arc length. You're using it to find area uh, angle. However, right? You needed to take that angle once it was done and convert it into radians, right? Uh, now, you could have also done this, and this is only on the video, so I'm not doing this in class, uh, but you could have also done this in radians to start with, right? We told you that when we learned about radians, it is part of the whole. So you could have, instead of doing degree over 360, you could have done, radians over two pi, right? So this would have been radians over two pi. Originally, you could have done it that way. So you would have had 123.53 equals 56 pi radians over two pi. Honestly, I think this is actually easier because the pi's go away. Uh, 56 over two gets 28. So you have 123.53 equals 28 radians, you would just divide both sides by 28 and you get 123.53 divided by 28 is, is uh, again, 4.41 is your radians. So it's actually easier if they get, if they want it in radians, you don't have to do degree over 360. You can do radian over two pi and, and get your answer. Um, and that'll be just fine. Um, yeah, that'll work. So either way you want to do it, 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 it does work. Um, but you got options for, for doing radians. You do not have to do angles and then convert. You can just literally, if you remember that radians are part of the circle, just like degrees are, you can just go for it. Now we're on page 13. We got one more. All of these are arc length, sorry to say. Uh, there are some for sector area. I just don't, I didn't pick any of those, but it's, it's the same thing that we've been doing. It's just using area instead of circumference. So pi r squared, it's in two pi r. Uh, so on 13, they gave you a radius of two centimeters, an angle of pi over three. They want us to find the arc length, which for some reason they use S to define the arc length. Um, so arc length right there. Uh, so again, your arc length formula, right? Arc length equals part of the whole, right? Times uh, two pi uh, times the circumference, which they did not give us. So um, you get two options. You can either do angle over 360, right? Angle at a three, six, I'm sorry degree over 360, so it's supposed to be. Um, this is the degree method. You can do degrees over 360 times your circumference, which is two pi r. 
um, and get an answer. Or you can just start off with radians and go from there. I'll, I'll show you both, let you decide. If you're gonna do degrees, obviously you need to convert from pi over three to degrees. So to convert from radians to degrees, you have to multiply by 180 over pi. That gets you 180 pi over three pi. The pi's go away. That's 180 over three, uh, which is just 60 degrees. So you could plug in your arc length. Your arc length is 60 out of 360 times two times pi times r, which happens to be two again. Um, so again, 60 over 360, that is six over 36. That is one sixth. So your arc length is one sixth times two times pi times two. That's, that's four pi, right? So you just multiply straight across. One times four pi is four pi. Six times one is six. This gets you four pi over six, which is of course two pi over three. You're rounding this time though to two decimal places. So, I mean, I guess two pi over three is fine. Um, but to two decimal places, this would be 2.09 would be your, um, your arc length in this case. That's if you wanted to use degrees. If you wanted to just straight up use radians, that's fine. You can say that your arc length is radians over two pi times two pi r. Now, what's fun about this is that the twos and the pi's cross out immediately. So your arc length is just um, your radians times r, right? The radians are two. I'm sorry, the radians are pi over three, right? Um, so hang on, let me just write it. Your radians are pi over three. Your radius is two. Just multiplying that across, you get two pi over three or 2.09. It works either way. Um, it's just up to you. Do you want degrees like we've been doing or do you want to utilize radians? Whichever you want to do is up to you. Um, you, just need to, you just need to know what it is that you're doing. Uh, you need to know. And that's, uh, that's all. So I leave you with that. You've got, again, practice problems on page 12B and page 13 to work through. Um, you're rounding them to two decimal places. If you want to give me the exact answer in terms of pi for some of them, I think you can. Um, but if it's not taking that answer, round to two decimal places. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them require you to round to two decimal places. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that, round to two decimal places. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Have a good weekend. Remember, we are going to be reviewing on Monday and then taking the test on Tuesday. So let me know on Monday any questions, comments, concerns that you have. And that is it for me. Bye, everybody. Bye.